Let's fix that elevator. Five more punch cards. Looks like there's nothing else up here. There's apparently a corpse sack just floating in the abyss. <laughs> Rest in peace. Just four more. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. Mm, easy vegan ramen. Not bad. Thank you. Don't let all the... Another third ruined book. It's one, actually, no, two more items. Three more. Looks like that's it for this place. I'm determined to get all these punch cards now that I'm so close. I want to see what happens. So I'm going to head over here. Broken augments. Isn't that stuff worth quite a bit? 200, yeah. How do I get over there? There must be another parking spot. I think, yeah, parking spots don't appear on this map. You get different maps depending on whether you're in the air or on the ground. Welcome to Ashima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you? Miso ramen. Ah, thanks. Have a nice day. Water. Yes, something that I don't have to consume immediately. Let's buy a bunch of these. Uh, let's spend all my money on it, I guess. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. Yeah. Well, we got a shop up here, but I guarantee you I'm not going to be able to buy anything. <laughs> Neon glasses and racer jacket. Thanks. I look forward. You know what? I could sell stuff. Here's. Like, I could sell one electronics. Not that it's worth much money. I'll. I'll sell the plastic steel. I don't 
don't know if they're broke. I probably shouldn't sell the broken augments. I'll sell copies if I get more than one, but I should probably keep one. I probably don't need four coolant, though. I'll get that down to... Two? No, let's just go down to one. Just, let's not hoard. I only need one of those things. In memory chip, I have... No idea, but... I guess I'll keep that. For no particular reason. Neon glasses. Thanks. I look forward. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, there's another parking spot on the other thing. This is where the water comes in handy. Yes, just two more punch cards. there's just a food vendor over there. I don't think that's... Well, it could be a special food vendor. Okay, if they're just named vendor, then nothing special. But if they have a name, then it might be a quest or something. Right. Uh, oh, something over there. Let's head over here, west of me. flag colors. Here's what I... Soda can. It's cheaper than water. I look forward to see. Just one more punch card. Remember that Armination's Jazz and Nivalis is punishable by death. 
couple more items more west of us. Come. Thanks for this. Yep. Oh, I was hoping that'd be the final one. It's a corpse egg flyer. Trying to recruit for their informant program. So that's the item that was used that one place that unlocked the ability to use that transporter thing? I don't I still don't know why. I guess I gave it to the corpse sec guard, and that's why they said like if you find any information, bring it to me. I think I'm like, they've recruited me? Even though I didn't actually give them any inf inf any useful information at all. I don't think there's any item on this side. Hmm. Just a vendor and a hollow cache thing. Here's nothing nice. exciting. Looks like directly south, all the way down. This down here has two items that could potentially be a card. Frisco Drive. Quanta Row. Oh. Guess the mushroom banana flavor doesn't taste too good. <laughs> speed boosts really don't last long. Ooh, they sell a cybernetic arm that I saw for sale in my apartment, but this one's more expensive than the one in my apartment. Red boots! These are lined with some weird fur, but my feet are warm and dry at the least. Yeah, those look kind of amazing. Thanks. Can't afford it, though, but actually... I look forward... <laughs> Watch where you're walking! I can sell some stuff. Oh, shit. I just double clicked and accidentally bought two. Can I sell it back? If 
for like the same amount of money? It's not even in the list. Thanks. I no, it, it's just. Oh, wait. Maybe I just needed a scroll. There we go. Oh, I can sell it back for the exact same amount. Ooh. Thanks. I look for. Let's see if we. <laughs> See if we can get a look at our shoes. I love these. Yeah, those look really cool. I wish it was easier to see our aesthetic changes. this be it? That's it! That's the final one! Memory Collector. Now I know for sure that there's a lot more we could collect, so I wonder if there's going to be any use to the to further ones. Must be a bad book. Nobody wants it. Another Corpse Egg Flyer. I've got your punch cards, Evelyn. The punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizich locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time. And more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. Oh, I knew there'd be more. So we need at least 20 more. Well, I think we've done enough exploring for now. Let's go back to the main quest. Let's go to Avalon Heights. We've been here at all, have we? No, these locations are completely unexplored. Touch no Fuse Pro jacket. Pretty trendy and comfy, too. I've never worn real designer gear before. I 
can afford it. Should I buy it though? Yeah, I should. I definitely should. Hey, come back anytime. Let's get into the light. I like it. Cool. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, really mat matches our shades. Oh, that was the one we Thanks. saw before. Hey, come back There's another merchant right next to us. Dress, neon glasses, golden spire jacket. Thanks. I look forward. Here it comes. Hey. Protein shake. Even stale protein can always be reconstituted and reused. Smells weird though. Ah, oh, it's an item. Y'all come back. Not instantly consumed. Should I deliver it right now or go the other way? Ah, let's deliver it. Fighting against my natural urge to go the exact opposite way of any quest. Any main quest, anyway. Where would this go? Is it just a shortcut to the other side? Because it looks like you can just go around, too. Hello, we have a delivery. His name is William. I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android Supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no, I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry, for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. Vehicle upgrade unlocked. Speed booster. Ooh. I'm glad William's okay with the assignment. I didn't think they would be, but cool. 
as long as they like it. Yeah, let's go check out the other side now. Do you miss William? I do not. Okay, me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home! Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. <laughs> Enter your apartment. Well, that's a little bit awkward because I already went there. God, I should have waited for the quest. So a few items I missed on the lower floor. Heads back here, I guess? Doesn't seem like there's any reason to go there. Yeah, looks like it takes us to the upper floor. It's a pharmaceutical seller over here, if you want to call them that. Chem dealer. And an item. There's a pharmacist, a street pharmacist. Nestor. Pheromones and stimulants. I'm good. That'll Nestor. There's some stuff over here, but it's just like a dealer with stuff that I probably can't afford and one item. I don't think I'm going to go there. Not enough for it to be worth it. So we're supposed to go back home. Um, but on the way, let's hit up one other place. Oh, there's three items that could be punch cards here and then one over here. Let's park there. Just keep going straight. Excuse me. I see your name tag there. More tame. Do you know what happened to Bob? Bob More Tame? I found a memory card with that name. Oh, thank God. They still... They still haven't found his... Hava? Body. He was in a big crash. The traffic signals all changed to purple at the main junction in Devereaux. Over a hundred vehicles. City has gone insane. I'm so sorry. So this is probably yours. Please take it. Thank you. I guess it fell all the way down here after the accident. Yes. The crash was three sectors above. But I don't understand. Why did he have these memories backed up? I don't know. This says summer 76. Sometimes the memory clinics give you a backup when you have memories deleted. But Summer 76 was our wedding. Is that... is that why you wanted to talk to me that night? Um, Janet, I am not from the city, so I get a lot of things wrong. Actually, I think most people go to the memory clinic to make sure they don't forget the important memories. They get a backup so that they can hold on to them forever. Is that true? Yes, definitely. I am sure. Well, at least I have this now. Uh, please. 
It takes some limbs as a reward. You could have kept this memory card and never told me. Oh, there's no need. It's not worth anything, really. It's not for the memory card, dear. It's for the kindness. Please take it. It'll make me feel better. Thank you, Mrs. Mortame. Was that memory card made because they deleted their wedding memory? If so, that would be horrible. Punch card. Mm -hmm. A rare video game disc. Isn't that the second? No, we had a cartridge before. A piece of plastic with a label that's barely legible. I'm pretty sure this is a video game too, but it's a floppy. I guess it could be made out of magnetic tape like the other one, although this is flat. It's called Darkmare. I wonder if that really was the best name they could come up with. Two out of twenty. Ah, took us to the other side. Nothing of interest. Three out of twenty. Nothing of interest. I guess I should pick up some water. Thanks. Have a nice. To be honest, I almost feel like it takes up more time trying to drink the water than it does just going slightly slower. This is going further than I thought. Uh, yeah, this is going really far away from our vehicle. Is that the only way to get here? It is. There's... Oh, wait. No. No, parking symbols just don't appear when you're on the ground. There is parking there. Four out of twenty. Mm-hmm. Liquid sun and dermis. Liquid sun. Uh, liquor when nothing else helps. Oh, right. We already bought that, didn't we? The dermis. We bought that for Pete. But what if we bought it for ourselves? Can we take it? Replicating self-administering dermis. Skin cells for androids. These are expensive and highly sought after by those who want to pass for human. I feel like that's the sort of thing we should just have on us. That'll be all. We can't just, like, drink it, can we? No. So what is your star sign, please? I don't know. Why do you ask? 
I am instigating a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit? Do you mean when I fell from heaven? Affirmative. I require an answer, humanoid. I'm not really interested. Sorry. I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. Do you want some advice? Affirmative. If you want to talk to someone you like, try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am Douglas. Name, please. <laughs> nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania, please touch my carbon fiber endoframe. Why would I do that, Douglas? Because it's made of boyfriend material. Okay, that is a little funny. But I'm afraid you're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. And I'm not even looking anyway. Very well. I shall continue to be alone. That's probably for the best. Five out of twenty. Back to our apartment. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Ugh, do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror. Or something. Lamp unlocked. A lamp would be great. This lamp is pretty dim, but if it was... Boop. Oh. Driver 14FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club, and most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful around him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14FC? Yeah? This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. I think that was the hint that I was waiting for on when to use the pheromones. Chemical substance triggering a social response in your favor. This seems like the time when I'm talking to Lomo. Anyway, what was I going to do? Buy a lamp. Oh, nice. There it is. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to find more punch cards, explore more, and see if we can talk to Lomo.